Okay, I'm going to take, this is, I'm just doing a little practice one. Just make the chain as long as you, as wide as you want your blanket. Maybe one more because you're going to skip one right here. So you're going to skip, you're going to, this is the one on your hook. You're going to skip this one and go to the second hole after, chain after your hook. You're going to go in, this is a single crochet, grab it and then go over and pull it through both of those. That's a single crochet. You always do a single crochet at the first and the last of every row. Remember that. Okay. Now the first one we're going to do in the next hole is a double crochet. So you're going to wrap it and go in the hole and grab that piece. And when you pull it out, you'll have three on your hook. And then you're going to wrap it and come through the first two then you'll have two on your hook and then you're going to wrap it and pull it through those two and that's your double crochet. Now the next hole you're just going to put it in grab that this is called a slip stitch you're just going to pull that stitch that you pulled through through the one you have on your hook so that's just a slip stitch and that's going to make your little bubble on the back so then you'll have bubbles all the way down so from there on out, you're just going to do a double crochet. You pull it through, you'll have three on your hook. You wrap it, you pull it through two. You wrap it, and you pull it through two. Double crochet, and then you're going to have your slip stitch. You just go in and grab it, and pull it right through the one on your hook. So double crochet, you got three, you go through the first two, you wrap it again, you go through the second two, that's your double crochet, Ooh. okay, and then the next one you just go in, grab it, pull it through, pull it through, okay, now you can see I've got three bubbles on the back. You're going to do that all the way to the end, and I just did a little short one here to show you, so I'm going to double crochet, sorry, and pull it through two, double crochet, pull it through two, and then just slip stitch, just pull it through, pull it through. Double crochet. Pull it through two, wrap it, pull it through two, and then slip stitch. You're just going to do that till you get to the very end, and at the very end, we're just going to do a single crochet. So I still have a couple more. So it doesn't matter what you end on, you just got to make sure the last thing you do is a single crochet. So that's a double. And then I have one, two, I really wouldn't use that last thing there. Just make this be your end. So that, that's going to be my slip stitch. And now I'm going to do another single crochet. So I'm just going to go in and grab it and then twist it, um, grab it and go through both of those. So that's my single crochet. And um, well, let me see. You could do that one too. Let me wait. Let me take that out. Let me go ahead. That was a slip stitch. Let me go ahead and do a double crochet here. It doesn't really matter. It will just be a little funky at the end. So, and then at the end, I'm going to do a single crochet. You wrap it, pull it through both. Okay, and then right here, you're going to do just a chain. So you're just going to wrap it around and pull it through and chain it and turn your dill over and you have all your little bubbles all the way down. So you you did that chain at the end. The first thing you're going to do is in this hole right here, you're going to do your single crochet. Okay, now, it depends on how you ended whether you'll do a slip stitch or a double crochet first. If it has a hole like this, it's going to be a double crochet and if it has a big hole like this, it's going to be a slip stitch. So at the top of the knot, 
If that's what's first, you're going to do a slip stitch. If not, you're going to do a double crochet. So I'm going to do a slip stitch first. And then you can see this hole here. And sometimes that hole's kind of tight. You have to fight to get it in. But you do a double crochet in that hole. But you always know the big hole is the slip stitch and the little hole is the double crochet. So I'm doing a double crochet there. And then that's the big hole. It's kind of on the top of the knot. You're just going to slip stitch through that. And then the next one's this little hole right here. And it's kind of tight because I, I sometimes I crochet too tight. But you pull through there. You got your three, you slip through two, and then you go over and slip through the other two. And then you can tell on the back it's making the bubbles on the back. And you just do that all the way down. The big hole, big hole on top of the knot is the slip stitch. And the next little hole, it's like a, I don't know, it kind of looks like a horseshoe or something. You're going to go in grab it you got three you go through two of them and then through two of them oh and then you're gonna slip stitch and depending on if you have an even number or an odd number you might do this different thing at the end you might do something different at the first every time or you might do the same thing every time so this is a um, double crochet and then a slip and a double crochet and then slip through the big hole on top of the knot and then a double crochet just want to get to the end and show you again and a slip through. See this is ending with a slip stitch and then that's the end of it so you're going to do a double, you're just going to do a single crochet so you're just going to go in the hole, grab it, wrap it around, pull it through both of those and then you're going to do just a chain where you just slip it in, you just grab it and pull it through that hole and then you turn it and start over again. So see if you understand that, if not I'll try to make a better one, okay? I've got to stop before it gets too long and I can't even put it on, send it to you. So, here goes.